Empires of the Undergrowth is a real-time simulation strategy game for desktop computers set in the world of ants. We have taken aspects from classic Godsim style games as well as modern real-time strategy while spacing the game in nature and featuring real wildlife. There is so much inspiration to draw upon from the insect kingdom and it's going on right under our feet. When considering only the domain of ants, we find acid sprayers, super strength, deadly stingers and insane acrobatics. In a typical level, the player will begin underground with their queen and a handful of worker ants. The first priority is to find food. Small insects, grubs and seeds can be harvested by digging tunnels through the earth. With food stockpiled, the player can look to expand their colony, selecting recently excavated space to be prepared as a brood chamber. The workers will fetch eggs from the queen and bring them to the chamber where they mature into adult ants. It's important to maintain a good balance of workers and soldiers who patrol the nest defending the queen and larvae from invaders. However, the available resources underground are not enough to sustain a growing colony for long. Eventually, the player will need to expand their territory to the surface. There are a range of different environments planned with varied resources. Soldiers can also be sent to claim territories and battle the large insects, arachnids and other beasts that guard them. Before long, the player will come across a neighbouring colony competing for control of the overground. When the player and opponent colony territories meet, the battle for dominance will begin. Streams of ants will flow from the enemy nest, which need to be met in equal kind by the player. Colonies may stop the flow of soldiers to the battle and rebuild their forces inside the nest at the cost of losing service territories, then push their enemy back to reclaim them. This will lead to a tug-of-war style battle in which waves of ants will push back and forth across the map. Our plan is currently to produce a single-player version of the game. It will feature a full story campaign told from the perspective of a documentary filmmaker who is studying the player's ant colony. A nomadic tribe of Formica Arepta ants are followed on their great journey across an island filled with biodiversity to return to their queen's place of birth. Along the way, the ants will face many challenges, dangerous foes, rival colonies and the changing environment, all of which must be overcome to complete their mission. In the end, only one colony will dominate atop the pinnacle of the ancestral mating grounds and secure its place amongst the great empires of the Undergrowth. Slug Disco Studios is a small team of three developers and Empires of the Undergrowth is our first title. In November last year we took our project to Kickstarter and received lots of positive feedback but unfortunately only made it halfway to our goal. Since then we've made some big changes. We decided to reduce the scope of the original project by putting the mobile version on hold and concentrating on a desktop release for Windows, Mac and Linux. Developing for higher performance hardware has unlocked graphical possibilities that were previously unavailable to us, and as a result the game has enhanced realism and atmosphere. We also have a demo of the game's underground section, so if you're interested we recommend you find the link below and try out some of the game's features yourself. In Empires of the Undergrowth, the player may raise different species of ants within a single colony. Although this is a stretch away from reality, with the exception of the DNA harvesting Formica Arepta ants, all of the species in the game are real. The ants collect different types of food with varying efficiency and have specific combat strengths and weaknesses inspired by their natural traits. All of the creatures in the game have unique skeletal models and animations based upon their real life counterparts. This gives them individual character and a more realistic overall feel to the game. In the future we would love to include other play modes, but first we feel the game needs to be successful on a smaller scale and be allowed to grow with the community. Uh, they, they kind of go on their back and just fire it. Yeah, it's quite literally like that. Yeah. That's, uh...